over here um, in the blue section of my shelf. Um, see how kind of, I used to have the Prada crystal bag, which, which reflected light like a disco ball, but this does the same thing. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. A bit tired today. I went, I went out to a party yesterday and I ended up buying a bag for the party. So I thought I'd show you guys what it is today. It's actually something that I saw in Furla a few weeks ago, I would say. And then I just thought... I don't know, at this, like, because I knew I was going to go out, I just used that as an excuse to buy this bag. To be honest, I'm going to show you guys what I got from Furla today. I know I, I'm, I'm actually trying to buy less bags this year, um, but this bag, it wasn't, like, really, really expensive. Um, and I actually think it's, like, really good, actually. Like, I've, I loved it. I used and abused it, like, yesterday, guys, throwing it around. <laughs> I was, like, dancing with it, and it, it still, like, it really held up. So... I wouldn't like rule out like Furler and Coach if you are looking for like something more fun. Um, I seriously, obviously love Hermes as well and that is a lot more expensive but sometimes depending on your outfit you just want like a novelty piece or you know something that you don't mind getting dirty and that's when I would opt for a contemporary brand over like a, a Chanel bag or something. That's just me. That's just because I like to like dance a lot when I um, go out and like I kind of just lose track of my things so I don't want to bring out something super expensive but yeah that's why I bought this fairly bag guys so I'm going to show you guys this today and also I received a package from uh Tokyo like I've I've bought a little Hermes piece from Japanese eBay as well so I'm going to show you guys this is and it also wasn't that expensive so um didn't blow my budget I don't think so um I have really wanted like the Loewe uh, bunny bag and honestly I'm still kind of thinking about that one I'm not sure um, but I did hear it doesn't fit a mobile phone which put me off it a little bit because the price of it is around 2,600 Australian dollars to 2,800 I've seen and this piece that I bought uh, from Furla costs $200 so still expensive $200 is nothing to like you know throw away but it, it was a similar vibe to like what I wanted but just um a lot cheaper than the bunny bag. Um, now I do have a few furler bags. I have my My Melody furler bag and I and I like these a lot. I'll show you what it is. <laughs> so it is a hedgehog. So this is a little uh, hedgehog bag and it is just adorable guys. Like it was just glistening in uh, with my out like I wore these um blue Issey Miyake pants and just a gray t-shirt and this just kind of added something to my very minimalistic outfit and it is really interesting because the bag um layer here is velvet and it has on it like stitched a uh, little little spots of sequins it's not fully sequined it's just like patches of sequins are uh, sewn onto the bag and they change color and they, they flip as well so you, it's very it's like a very interesting texture um and then you can see its little face is very cute um the bottom is leather and then it has the branding there so i mean you probably wouldn't know this is a furler bag it's very subtle but it's yeah i just bought it for the novelty um, and I just thought it would add something really fun to my outfit. Um, I did actually really want a nano sequin baguette a few months ago. And I did try it on in store. I thought it was really cute as a party bag. Because when I go out, I tend to just hold my phone and then put my, like, ID... I don't know, maybe some cash or um, my keys in here and that and like a lipstick and a, like a little bit of powder or something and that's all I need. So um, this was really good because I just wore it on my wrist and had my phone and it was like the perfect bag actually. Um, now this will not fit a phone. I think it might fit uh, a flip phone if you have the Samsung flip phone, but I have an iPhone 12 mini and it doesn't fit in here. So um, this is definitely not, doesn't pass the fits a phone test, but because it was $200, uh, I was okay with that. Whereas the bunny bag from Loewe doesn't fit a phone and it's like $2,600. So that I'm a bit like, mm, not sure. But I will say, despite it not fitting the phone, it was still like really usable. Um, so I'll show you guys what fits. 
So the zipper, it is kind of like a cheap-ish. I mean, it's not the worst zipper, but it's like a plastic zipper. Um, it has patent leather here. This bottom bit feels like uh, very smooth. Like hey guys, editing Jess here. Um, I don't think this bag has any sort of leather in it. I think it's actually all synthetic because I'm just looking at the website and it says... Uh, pe Pelletti's fabric, which I'm guessing is the sequin. So it's like a sequin fabric, which I assume they bought separately. It was like made on a machine. And then it says synthetic patent fabric. So the face bit is, is synthetic as well. But for some reason, I was under the impression that the bottom was not synthetic because it feels like a leather. But I think it might be all synthetic because it doesn't say there's any leather on this. So um, that's interesting. So, um, oh, and it also comes in pink and like a yellowish gold color. I would have probably got the pink one if they had it in stock. Um, but when I went to the Furla store, they only had one piece left of this blue one and they had a gold one. And I just kind of liked the look of the blue one a little bit more at the time. Um, so that's why I went with that. So it does fit um, a card. So that's my card. I have like a little bit of um, makeup in here. This is like concealer because I had a pimple yesterday. And I was just like dotting it every now and then. <laughs> and I also have my car keys with my um, key uh, fob and my house keys. I have a few more cards in here. Um, and then I also have a Chanel uh, lip gloss, um, a NARS lip uh, crayon, and a Morphe. I, I don't know why I have three lip glosses. I couldn't decide at the time. Um, and yeah, it fit all that. And the inside is uh, just a canvas black. Hey guys, I'm just thinking, um, I don't know, for some reason I thought all furla was made in Italy and it was, um, like, good quality, but I didn't realize that this bag was made in China. Um, not that I'm saying that, um, everything made in China is, like, unethical or that sort of thing, but sometimes, from what I've read, um, that in China the employees aren't paid as much and, you know, their working conditions are not always as good, so... I don't know if buying this bag was like a sustainable choice, if that makes sense. And also it being fake leather, it's probably not going to last, you know, um, over 10 years because it's just plastic. Um, I mean, if you're vegan, this might be a good bag to go for. Um, but, you know, I actually tend to like prefer leather bags although I do have a Telfar bag which is really durable and sometimes to be honest synthetic leathers are kind of very durable <laughs> um but and they're way cheaper um but yeah what I think this bag is I mean I don't know if this bag is worth $200 to be honest because you can get something from Zara in fake leather but I, I would say like the stitching is all straight the sequins are stitched on uh, pretty well. Um, I mean, I don't think they're hand stitched. I think it's like just a, a fabric they bought with where all the sequins were already on it. And it does the job. So yeah, I don't know guys. I'm not saying this was like the best purchase in terms of like being mindful. Um, and this isn't like something that I would buy all the time, I don't think. I think if you were to buy it second hand, that would be a little bit more like sustainable. Uh, but yeah. I don't know, guys. I will say, guys, I think a con of this bag is that the zip is very, like, smooth, which is bad because when you're carrying it, it's fine, but then if you start, like, like dancing, um, and it honestly, like, opens, like, it opens really easily when you have more stuff in it for some reason. So if I, like, chuckle this stuff in here, like, all this, ugh, chuckle that in there, like, when you're dancing, it, like, kind of, like, opens kind of thing. And then I was kind of scared that I would do this and then all my stuff would fall out. It didn't happen. So it's just that the zip is kind of loose. So that's the only thing because you're holding it by the zip. I feel like I was, like, opening and closing the bag. Like, see what I mean? Like, when you do that, which is kind of dangerous. So if you're worried you're going to do that, maybe just hold it like this. So... It's not actually like opening the bag as you wear it because I feel like sometimes you can get distracted and then it just like flies open. But I did not have that issue, guys, and I was, um, I went a bit crazy. So it did. It was not. It was not a problem. So yeah, that's that. And I just think the, the colors are really beautiful. If you want like a little cute sequin piece, I would really recommend uh, 
these furla bags. You can also get a little um, kind of shopper bag style, which was adorable. And there's some flat bag styles as well, but they little, look a little bit like, I don't know, just like normal bags to me. Whereas I, I liked this because this is something that you wouldn't be able to get at like Hermes or like any other brand apart from maybe Loewe who also does like animal shaped bags um it's just like not a common thing you would see at a designer brand so I just thought if I'm going to go furla I'm going to get something that you can't get from a designer brand which is why I chose the hedgehog um so yes that's my new bag um and yeah I guess I'll just put him over here um in the blue section of my shelf um, see how kind of, I used to have the Prada crystal bag, which, which reflected light like a disco ball, but this does the same thing. So if you want a bit of like bling bling in your life, um, yeah, I would recommend Furla actually. It's really, really cute. And, uh, the next thing I got, uh, let me show you. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is a true unboxing, guys. I just opened this bit, but I haven't actually seen it. Okay, so I got this on Japanese eBay, so you can kind of guess what it is from, can you see what it is, guys? Uh, from the shape, it, it was actually, it cost about 106 US dollars. So, again, like, not cheap, but it was not crazy. Um, and yes, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> so, it's another Petite H charm. I do have a few Petite H now. I've got a Echidna. Uh, which is here. It's my Echidna charm, which I got from the Australian website. Um, and I also have a heart. So my heart, my heart. I got this for like a really good deal on a Australian eBay. I think someone was selling it for like $100 or something. So I just picked it up because I just liked it. Um, and it's a heart. Uh, yeah. And then this one, yeah, it's an elephant, which I thought was so cute. And it's the colours are very, like, neutral. They're a little bit more boring for a petite H. I, I, I mean, I prefer the ones that have, like, pink or purple or, like, bright green or something as opposed to, like, a neutral one. But I think because it's an elephant, it, it kind of suits it because it's, it's an elephant, guys. So um, this side is, like, a brown colour. And then the other side is black. So I, I found that like the more neutral, boring coloured petite H's on the pre-love market uh, don't sell as much as like the more fun coloured ones. And some shapes definitely hold their value more than other shapes, especially if it's like a little bit more rare. Um, this elephant, I've seen go for like, a, it's kind of random to be honest. I don't know why they, they price this at like a very reasonable price because usually I've seen the elephant for a lot more than 100 um, dollars um, and it just has a very small stamping there saying Hermes and the silk is kind of um, warm colors as well I guess so I thought this would look really adorable on this bag here which is my A-line bag actually that matches pretty well kind of goes with the neutral vibe I think it looks to be honest best on this bag because I used to put a petite H on my on my her bag um, here but I I put it on my omnibus bag instead and now I have my buddy charm on it but I think uh, the heart would look really nice on this this bag as well if I didn't have the buddy charm um, so I actually think maybe more yeah well it will flick when you wear it um, also it seems like they're different leathers oh yeah I think this side is Epsom and then the other side might be a uh, Clemence leather by the looks of it which is interesting. Um, I think this could also kind of look cool on my omnibus bag like that. Does it? Yeah, I mean, it kind of does. I mean, it's just a very big size. I think this would look really good on like a big Birkin or just like a larger Hermes bag because it's it just seems like it should go on that. Um, I do have a Evelyn here. I guess it could go on my Evelyn. Actually, that's quite cute. Could go on my Evelyn as well like that actually that's really cool like a big elephant on it what do you reckon guys yeah i think that's pretty cute actually so yes i bought another petite h because i thought it was a good deal so that's that but um yeah that's all i had to share today guys i'm gonna go to bed or i'm gonna eat some dinner 
and I'm gonna go to bed because I feel not the best and yes thanks for watching and um yeah I'll talk to you on my next one bye